one of the things that the far right, and yes, I mean far right, meaning that they espouse ideas that revolve around forcing other entities to do what they want them to do, or trying to encourage that in some way, which internationally is a right-wing ideology. Okay, that's the opposite of um, of non-intervention. Uh, in my terms, I'm aware there's many different ways to represent this. This is the way I'm talking because it's my channel. So a lot of times when you drill down on these people and say, you know, maybe you're emotional and you say, why do you hate Chinese people? Why do you hate China? They'll fall back on, no, 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 it's not the Chinese people. You know, they're cool. They're great. They're all just brainwashed. They're victims. They're all, you know, there's, they're just some version of not as good as that person talking. You always notice that, right? It's never that like, oh, they're exactly the same as me. Um, however, something. It's always, oh, they're, they're, they're misinformed. They're brainwashed. They're dumb. They're this, they're that. Um, it's not them that, that they hate. No, no, no. It's just the government. And usually when you say, oh, okay, who's the government? Then they say, you know, the CCP. And you go, uh, well, that's not the government. <laughs> and I hope a lot of people in the chat have realized what I just said, right? If you say the government, that's not the same word as the CCP or the CPC. Because the government means the people who work in the government. Whereas the CCP or CPC are just people, whether or not they work in the government. A lot of these people don't work in the government. They're just a regular person who's also a member of the party. And that's because, and I know this is a big shock to a lot of people out there, a party is not the same thing as a government. Just as when you say the government in the United States, you don't mean all the Democrats or all the Republicans. So why is this important? Well, first of all, it already shows that they don't even know what they're talking about in the first place. And the other thing is that it shows that even they don't understand how many people that they're saying that they hate, which is quite interesting. I think when Americans in particular, let's just stick with them because it's easier for me to think about them. I think when they say uh, the government, I think that they're talking about all uh, Chinese Communist uh, Party members. And they think that that number is about 100,000 to a million people. I'm just guessing. This is not based on any research, right? This is not a fact. This is just my assumption. I think that that's probably what they're thinking about. But let's take a look at how many people that they actually hate. So, when people say, oh, the Communist Party has done this thing that I don't like, or I hate them because of this or whatever, in their minds, oftentimes they're thinking that's the government. In fact, I would say probably 99% of the time. So, the Communist Party today, according to public statistics, has about 92 million people. Sorry, too much coffee. And uh, that's already huge. But the other thing is, that's only just the literal Communist Party. When you see Western reports about, you know, the Commies, or the Communists, or the CCP, or whatever... They will also say the exact same things about, uh, for example, the uh, uh, Communist Youth League. The same thing to them. If, if a Youth League member does something or, or they make, pass some bill or, you know, whatever they do, whatever they're up to, if a report comes out about them, people will think, oh, those communists. Those are the people we're talking about. And that's about somewhere around 90 to 95 million more people. And... Underneath that, you have something called the Young Pioneers. Okay, these are younger people, very young. And that's about 150 million people. Now, again, all of these people are the types of people that you're going to see misrepresented as the CCP and confused with the government. So when these people say, oh, I don't hate China, I just hate the government. And you say, well, why are you talking about the CCP? And they go, Oh, I mean, I also hate the CCP. I mean, all of it. And you go, oh, okay, cool. That's about 340 million people you're talking about. 
that's basically the population of the United States. So, oh, you only hate 340 million people here? You only hate one out of every five people on the street? You know, you get what I'm saying? And and this is why... Um, this is why I made a video a long time ago. I think it was the one in which I was um, showing that Serpentier was a, a, a very basic English teacher. Um, and, I, and I said something like, uh, uh, I've got friends that are in the government. And everybody was like, oh, gotcha, government pawn. Sorry about that noise. That's my uh, automatic cat feeder. And the thing about uh, this <laughs> this this interesting uh, comeback from them is, um, if you've been to China, you have met many people in the CPC or the CCP. If you've ever been to China and gone anywhere and done anything, if you've gone to a restaurant, you've met some. They're everywhere. And that's because the people and the Communist Party are very closely aligned. Okay? So... When you say you only hate one of them, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about that lady over there with her kid? Because that's one of them. And no one even, like, mentions this. When you watch these far-right people, they just, it's like a given. They go, oh, uh, you know, oh, it's just the, it's just the government or just the, the, the communists. I'm like, that's, you're talking about hundreds of millions of people. <laughs> so, oh, here we go. You're just telling BS. Gustav. Gustav Gans. You're just telling BS. Well, you tell me, Gustav. What's the truth? I'll wait for your comment. Can you guys uh, hear me drink that coffee? Thank you for your masterpiece, although I believe this is only a piece of the iceberg. Yes, I agree. And that's why I really wish I did have a team, because it's... How am I supposed to do all this stuff by myself? CCP are the people, come from the people, among the people. They are the people. Anti-CCP is anti-China. Anti-Chinese, just the same. Yeah, I, I pretty much agree with that. I would say I 90% agree with that. Um, at least in the way that people talk about it now. Uh, mostly because, like I just said, they don't have no idea what they're even talking about. They just say, um, oh, I hate these people. Oh, you know, just that small group. I'm like, you mean like the entire population of the United States? You hate all those people? This is You're a horrible person. Um, but to be honest with you, I think most of the uh, far-right people on that map, especially the, the sort of uh, school teach English teachers and the uh, people who just live in this little echo chamber... I don't even think that they know that <laughs> or if they do they're just you know they're they're being intentionally vague about their hatred most chinese have a ccp member of family friends co-workers relative that is at least half of china it, yes this is another point i was going to make a video before uh about when um they were going to do some i think it was visa restrictions on communist party members and originally they said and their family members and I was going to make a video like, that's just everyone. You, you might as well just say, no Chinese people allowed, because that's almost everyone. What's your take on the digital UN? Will it give more control to the CCP over central bank? Um, will it give more control over the central bank? Yeah. But, I mean, that's every country eventually will be doing their own digital currency. It's just a matter of time. This is something that I already started to think about back in about 2008 or so when I was getting into to Bitcoins. Um, the way of the future, the sort of way of the at least distant future, is that, you know, hopefully everybody in the world is working together in some way. And uh, the number one maybe not the number one, but one of the top reasons that we're being pulled back from that is um, people who legitimize hating 340 million people in China. Sorry, but <laughs> I don't agree, right? I just don't agree. 
and you can think that that makes me this or that or you know whatever but it doesn't it just makes you kind of a piece of shit.